Hi, and welcome to the making of the behind-the-scenes look of the 2014 film John Wick. The film starred Keanu Reeves, William Defoe, Ian McShane, and other stars. The film's budget was $20 million, and its worldwide gross takings was over $86 million. Keanu Reeves' preparation for the role included weapons and martial arts training, which he did for eight hours per day for four months. Keanu Reeves did most of his own stunts during the movie. The dog in the movie, his real name, was Andy, and he was eight weeks old at the time of filming. So let's now take a look at the locations and what they look like today. We start off in the movie with a scene at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We visit this place again later in the movie. I think this scene opened the movie really well and gets your attention straight away. I've got to say I highly recommend watching the 4K version of this movie as it really is a reference quality disc with a stunning picture and brilliant Dolby Atmos soundtrack. This location we visit quite a few times in the movie. It's by the Brooklyn Bridge on the East River walkway. John Wick is at his wife's funeral. This is a standout scene on the desk with the rain surrounding you and coming through the high speakers. I really like the colour they used in this scene, it really suited the occasion. Having it rain was a great idea also, as it always seems to rain at funerals. The car used by John Wick is a Ford Mustang Mach 1. Keanu Reeves did all his own driving in the movie and did some driver training. The location still looks the same. Filming for this scene was done at the Republic Airport on Long Island. Some really nice shots of the Mustang being put through its paces. The famous John Wick house. We visit the house a few times in the movie. The house is set in a secluded location at the end of Horseshoe Road.
Behind Scrap Metals is where John Wick goes searching for his car. The building on the outside still looks exactly the same in real life. The Continental is where John Wick stays for most of the movie. The car he drives in the movie is a 1970s Chevrolet Chevelli SS396. The building is quite unique looking and recognisable from the movie. Here, John Wick arrives at the Red Circle Club seeking for revenge. The building is actually not a nightclub as portrayed in the movie, it's a courthouse in real life. John travels to the Little Russia Church, which serves as Vigo's front and destroys Vigo's cache of money and blackmail material. This is where Vigo lives. As you can see, it has the rooftop swimming pool, which is in the movie. John meets up with Marcus under the Manhattan Bridge. If you look, the railings have changed now. Here's a photo of them changing them. It's a pity as I thought the original railings from the movie looked nicer. This is where Marcus William Defoe lives. John Wick arriving after Vigo was left with his henchmen.
Perkins is called to a meeting with Winston, who has her executed for killing Harry on continental grounds. So we return to the Navy Yard, where we got the flashback at the beginning of the movie. Again they use the rain effect that adds to the style of the scene and adds to the drama. The Brooklyn Navy Yard, originally known as the New York Navy Yard, is a shipyard and industrial complex located in northwest Brooklyn in New York City, New York. The Navy Yard is located on the East River in Wallabout Bay, a semicircular bend of the river across from Corlears Hook in Manhattan. It is bounded by Navy Street to the west, Flushing Avenue to the south, Kent Avenue to the east and the East River on the north. And here we have the ending of the movie, with John Wick walking along Brooklyn Bridge Park walkway. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you're still watching, why not consider subscribing to the channel, I've got many more videos like this to come. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your movies. Bye!